When traveling on an overnight train, you normally want the most modern and up-to-date interiors. Well, today, I'm taking a journey 60 years back in time, traveling on board one of Romania's classic overnight carriages. Riding from Tibishwara in the west over to Yashi in the east, I'll show you inside this retro sleeper train. While it's not a smooth ride by any means, and the carriages are looking a bit outdated, this was actually one of my favorite night trains. So join me to cross this vast Eastern European country from the comfort of the CFR Interregio Night Service. Good evening from the beautiful communist-era station of Timisoara Nord. This station may not look like much, but it's one of the busiest stations in the country. So let's head inside the small building and see what's on offer. The main hall here is compact, consisting of a staffed ticket office and some artwork around the walls showcasing some of the city's highlights. There were a few vending machines and food shops, as well as a bakery, but I didn't spend a lot of time here as I was running a little late. Departures are displayed on a series of television screens, each one slightly damaged in its own way. I'll be riding IRN 1838, the 1802 service to Yash. Let's head out to the platform and find my train. Timisoara Nord sees a variety of long-distance and more local services. Some are even operated using these tiny diesel rail buses, which date back to the mid-1930s. My train will be this four-car loco hauled rake, with a CFR Class 64 diesel locomotive at the front, though this is expected to change several times through the night. Access to other platforms is via the tracks, with a flat crossing at one end of the station. My train will be leaving from Platform 2, so let's waste no time in looking at the train's varied consist. The two modern carriages at the rear contain seats, perfect for shorter journeys but not advised for overnight trips. Towards the front, there's a couchette carriage, featuring compartments with four beds or six beds. And here's the carriage I'll be travelling in. This 1965-built sleeper carriage was manufactured by Hansa Wagenbau in Bremen, West Germany. It was then purchased second-hand from Deutsche Bahn. At the time of construction, this was a luxury product, but as you'll soon see, I still think it's an excellent way to travel 60 years on. This train is operated by CFR Calatori, the national operator of Romania. In recent years, lots of competing private operators have appeared on Romanian tracks, but the majority of services are operated by CFR. We'll be departing in just a few minutes, so let's get on board and find my private compartment for the next 16 hours. Immediately after boarding, you'll notice the carriage's lavish design, with real wood panelling and golden highlights. It looks like a train fit for royalty. I've reserved bed 12, and have booked out a private room. And here it is. We'll take a look around all of its antique features soon, but first, a look at today's route. We'll be crossing most of Romania today, heading east and north to Cluj-Napoca, before reversing out and continuing the journey through to Yash. Journey time is scheduled to be 16 hours and 20 minutes, covering 811 kilometers, or about 504 miles. The train departs on time at 18.02, beginning its epic voyage across Romania. Despite being a journey to the east of the country, we actually depart westwards due to the complex route the train takes. To start, we travel very slowly, past abandoned carriages and dilapidated infrastructure. Though later this evening, we'll be speeding up, pushing the poorly maintained tracks to their limits. But while we wait for that, Let's take a look around this sleeper cabin. First up, the door can be locked twice, once with the regular lock and again using a chain. Each room sleeps up to two people, with two bunk beds available. The upper bunk can be accessed with this ladder, crudely mounted on the room's two coat hooks. These beds were actually fantastic, and I'll show you just why that is when it's time to sleep. Luggage storage can be found in your room, in the space above the corridor. More is available just above the window. Smaller personal items can be stored next to the bed, with a folding table and drinks holder. Next to this, a little net. It's a great place to store your mobile phone. 
The beds also have a light control panel, allowing you to turn on the main light from bed. The personal lighting though, now that's cosy. By the window, there's a cupboard. This features a bottle of water and a small amenity kit that we'll look at in a minute. Beneath the cupboard, you'll find a switch for the embedded mirror light. You'll also find two inconspicuous holes, which are actually the power socket. This worked well, though I'm not sure how much longer this plastic panel is going to last. Down here is a small litter bin, as well as a folding step, I guess so you can reach the luggage rack. Underneath the table is a small sink. Other than the tap handle falling off, this was all working fine. Back outside, we're now running at speed and getting the first signs of just how bad the track here on Romania's rural railways is. Also, the line side clearance is very tight here, so if you choose to stick your head out of the window, then be extra careful. Around 45 minutes later, we arrive at our first station stop, Buziash. This small town was once famous for its spas, said to have healing properties. The area around the station doesn't look like much, but the actual town centre is around 2 kilometres from here. After a brief stop, we continue jumping along through Romania. At this point, I would normally go and have a look around the train. However, for security reasons, the sleeper carriages are usually kept locked away from the rest of the train, so I didn't bother. Soon, we rejoin the main line at Lugoj once again facing west, away from our destination. In the platforms, there is a Siemens de Zero. These regional trains are used on very long journeys, some over 5 hours long. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to try one. Lugos Station is a beautiful building and I just love the architecture of it. At this point, I decided to get a drink to enjoy the passing scenery before it gets dark. This train doesn't have a restaurant car, but the carriage attendant will provide tea and coffee for a small additional charge. What I wasn't expecting though, was for my tea to be served in an Ubibe Nightjet branded cup. This cost me 5 Romanian lei, which I think is reasonable. Time to take a look at the toilets. The signage actually promised a shower too, though I was a little sceptical. With 60 years of service behind it, it's safe to say this toilet wasn't the most modern. Anyway, the soap dispenser was working fine, as was the water. Lastly, Paper towels were provided for drying your hands. Now on to the shower. I've used my fair share of good showers on trains, but unfortunately this wasn't one of them. Once I finally got it working, all it produced was a gentle sprinkle of water. I didn't even try to have a shower in this. It's now two hours after we left Timisoara Nord, and the sun has set, leaving us with just a few more minutes of light. It would be a challenge trying to get much sleep next to this loud diesel locomotive, but thankfully this is going to be swapped for an electric one a little later tonight. Now moving on to that amenity kit I mentioned earlier. Inside you can find a refreshing towel, which is basically a wet wipe a small bar of soap, a single tissue for some reason, a shoe shining towel, which was another wet wipe, and a dental kit, consisting of a toothbrush and the world's smallest tube of toothpaste. I also noticed this side in the cupboard, greeting passengers in German, English, French and Italian. This sign is at least 30 years old, as the bottom featured logos from East Germany and West Germany's railway companies. We are now arriving at Simeria, a major junction station.
This is where our diesel locomotive will be exchanged for an electric one that will take us to Yash. Our new locomotive is a CFR Class 40, with hundreds of these being built between the 1960s and 1990s. While we await departure, another one of Romania's many overnight trains pulls in next to us. Half an hour is allowed for the changeover, and soon after, we're back on the move. It's now time to wind the window up and get some rest. For privacy, you can pull down the blind. The beds in this carriage are excellent. They seemed much wider than average, which was great to see. The mattress was also comfy, and had just the right amount of padding. Under the mattress, you'll find a small bracket, which will raise the top portion of the bed. This allows you to lie down comfortably while reading a book or using your phone. I end up going to sleep around 23.30, covering the remainder of the long journey from the comfort of my bed. After an excellent sleep of 9 hours, I awake in the northeast of the country. This was a really comfortable night. Whilst these carriages are 60 years old, they certainly offer a lot of comfort. Our next station is Suchava, a major city with a population of around 85,000 people. The station building also bears the name Burrujeni, the part of the city in which the station can be found. We are still nearly two hours from Yash, but thankfully the speed limit is a little bit higher than what we experienced last night. Our top speed on this section is up to 120 km an hour, which is pretty good by Romanian standards. Still, opportunities to reach this top speed are infrequent, with the train stopping at many smaller towns. This is Tergul Frumos, the last of our 40 intermediate stops. So, time to talk about how much this journey costs. I booked my ticket just 10 hours before departure. My private room cost 325 Romanian lei, which I think is excellent value for money for a long train journey with a night's accommodation included. Oh, and one more thing, in the middle of the night we had another loco change, as well as a reversal, hence why my carriage is now at the rear of the consist. After 16 and a half hours, we're on the final approach to Yash. Arrival is delayed by 13 minutes, and by Romanian standards, that's not bad. Overall, I really liked this trip. The carriage is very old, and the ride is pretty bumpy, but the comfort and space available was excellent, with the 1960s carriages providing a truly authentic ambience. As always, let me know what you thought of Romania's Interregio night service in the comments, and for a look at Romania's most modern overnight train, then click up here now to experience the stylish Astra Transcarpatic sleeper.